Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. Last time, we helped out Hendrik basically defend the last bastion from the hordes of monsters coming in from Heliodor sent by Mordegon. Apparently, Heliodor is Mordegon's, like, base. But now, the king of Heliodor, like, the real king, wants to talk to us. I wonder what that's all about. I don't really want to talk to him, he doesn't seem like all that great of a guy, but yeah, whatever. We have to. Although I suppose it really wasn't his fault that we got a bad first impression on him. He was possessed. But, you know, I've played these JRPGs, and people only get possessed because, you know, they have evil in their hearts. And that sort of stuff. Hey there. Oh, well, of course. Really, he should be on his best behavior for me. I'm the luminary. Like, I'm actually important. He's not. I'm... yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, these guys are just uh, hitting on her. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. Can you heal me? Oh. Really? Okay, sure. Whatever. Anyway, let's go talk to the king. Where is he? I believe... Okay, yeah, I'm totally going the wrong way. He's over here. Get over there. Thanks for your crappy jumping mechanics game. It seems we owe you both a debt of gratitude. You have proven your strength and your ability to work together. It is time. Time to bring light back to this benighted land. The fiend that usurped my throne must be ousted. Heliodor Castle must be reclaimed. And you, my loyal servants, must lead the charge. <gasps> but, but, sire... I do not give these orders lightly, Hendrik. My spies have found a means by which we might gain an advantage. The city's sewers can be entered from the cliffs in the side of the hill atop which Heliodor stands. You will use these sewers to infiltrate the castle from beneath. This key will unlock the gate. But, sire, who will command our forces in my absence? If the enemy renews the attack, we will be slaughtered! We will not. We will be prepared. Prepared to draw them out, leaving the castle unguarded. The usurper must be overthrown while we have the chance. We strike now, or we never see the light of day again. Please, Your Majesty. We cannot allow yet more lives to be lost. Precisely! Which is why you must quell the darkness at its source. We seize our one opportunity, or we consign ourselves to despair. It is as simple as that. Hmm. Or do you question the wisdom of your king? My subjects have shown me the depth of their courage. I trust in their ability to endure this one last assault. And I order you to do likewise. Sire. You are our last hope. Do not let us down. Did you hear that, viewers? That was the collective sigh of all of us upon hearing that we have to go into some sewers. I hate sewers. I hate them so much. Oh, and by the way, screw this king. Like, okay, yeah. Do I question your wisdom? Yeah, actually I do. 
And some leader you are, you're the one who threw the whole world into disarray like this. And you know who's actually leading right now? Hendrik! Hendrik's leading. I say we assassinate the king, just get rid of him, he's a stupid idiot anyway, and, you know, move on with life. Why don't me and Hendrik just rule the world now? I mean, come on, why do we have to take orders from this guy? The last time I met you, you tried to kill me. I owe you no loyalty whatsoever. Who the hell do you think you are? Screw you. Oh, all these things I would just love to say to him. But no, we can't. We actually have to go on over here and, uh, yeah, go through some sewers. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm so looking forward to this. Okay, so, oh, it's starting to rain. Huh. Okay, let's see, we got go to go to the Mangle Grove, to the Hilladorian foothills, to sneak into the castle, through the sewers. Great. Just great. Okay. Oh, you know what this actually reminds me of? Did any of you ever play White Knight Chronicles, or really more importantly, White Knight Chronicles 2? If you have, you know what I'm referring to. Wait, love. Mr. Hendrick, sir. I couldn't have a quick word with my boy, could I? I won't be long, I promise. As long as it is quick. Oh. So you're heading off again, are you? Hmm. Well, just you be sure to listen to Sir Hendrick and do as you're told. And don't you dare go giving up, ever. Just look at me, eh? Something's wrong with my eyes now, too. Must be all this squinting in the dark. Well, only one remedy for that. You'll just have to bring back the light. Promise? <sighs> Time is short. We must be on our way. You'll look after my boy, won't you, Sir Hendrick? Hmm. Obsidian, see the lady back to safety. Really? The king is older than time. Like, what is he going to do to help these people? Uh... Church on the hill beneath Heliodor. We'll base ourselves there. Okay, we'll search the entrance for the sewers. Oh, we actually get quick jumped here. That's kind of cool. I don't see anybody here. Oh, you know what? Have I already rested? Okay, perfect. Yeah, I was going to say I might need to use the inn. Uh, one thing that I do want to do, though, is definitely... Wait, are you in my party? Are you just following me around? No, you're not in my party. That'd be kind of cool if you actually joined us. Hey there. Oh. Oh, the uh, priest isn't here, but there is an adventure log. Okay, yeah, this is just the same junk that we've seen before. Um, what I'm going to do is go inside the um, inside the church and save real fast, though. I definitely want to do that before we go into sewers. Well, I got all that stuff taken care of. Um, and I looked around on the map screen. And let me just show you. Right now, there's an extra question mark here. So, yeah, I guess we do have some new um, sparkly spots to actually look around for. And another thing that's not exactly my fav... Ooh, well, there it is. Fatalistic. Okay, perfect. Another thing, not so hot, but if you go into Character Builder, notice anything different? We've lost the power of the Luminary. And then also, we had some skills up here, too, that were kind of grayed out and we couldn't access, but now they're just gone. And all of the um, luminary skills are completely gone as well. So I have 33 points. I guess I was refunded those luminary skills. Um, so I might just 
hold on to them for right now, the various points, until we get Luminary back. Because there's nothing really that I want here. I don't really want anything in the swords. Um, Kick a Smash might be okay, but that's a pet power. Um, this could be decent. And you know what? I'm probably just going to go ahead and grab this. An extra critical hit chance. It's only six points, so we might as well just grab that. Um, but yeah, that kind of sucks. Actually, that doesn't kind of suck. That really sucks. Let's go after this guy. Flamer! Yikes. These flamers were first introduced in Dragon Warrior 4. Whoa! And, um, they were actually all sorts of different elements. There was the fire guy, who was, I guess, the flamer. And then there was an ice guy, too. I don't remember what the ice guy was, was called, but both of them, basically, they attacked with either fire elemental magic or ice elemental magic, depending on, um, which one you encountered. Okay, let's see. Moving right along. Whoa! No! Oh, more of these stump chumps. It's kind of, I don't know, disappointing. I'll just put it that way. It's disappointing that, okay, yeah, we have a dark world, and we have a change of enemies, but it's not like the enemies have changed that much. They're the exact same names and everything. They're just vicious versions. So, yeah, like, I don't know. They could have done a little bit more with this. They could have made it um, that we had, you know, different um names of monsters or different abilities but it doesn't seem that way i guess you know the flamers yeah they're different um but everything else was here before well i guess the dola hands are different as well but you know what i mean just having all these you know vicious monsters it's just it's just a bit disappointing so we're going to go on over here to the secret sewer entrance but first let's get some shinies Uh, the same old junk that we had before. Wow. Not even, like, superior medicines or anything. It's just the same crummy medicines. Where is the sewer entrance? Do I have to jump up on these rocks or something? I don't see it. Oh! Oh, I see. Okay, I have to climb up these rocks. Gotcha. And as you can see, Hendrik, he doesn't join your party, but he's just there as a guest party member. Which is kind of nice. You don't have to worry about his HP or anything. And a lot of the times he uses forbearance and just absorbs all the incoming hits. Which is very, very nice. So, the assault begins. Move. This is no time for idling. Screw you! You're the one who stopped me! What's your problem? This guy has, like, major, major issues. Huh. Wow. Look at this. It almost looks like there's a caldera over there. You can just look down on the church, all the swamps, all the fires raging, this huge, beautiful waterfall. This is nice. You know, if it's not so creepy and ruined, it's still pretty in its own way. At least it's not like a Western RPG. If it was and it was a ruined world, it would be even more gray and dreary and brown than usual. Ugh. Well, here we are in the sewers. My favorite. Oh, there's a little path there. I need to see it. Okay, so well, these are the Hilidorian foothills, but then we can... Oh, this is where that black dragon was. Okay, so this is where we were um, at the very beginning with Eric when we were escaping. Looks like we have some vicious drakies here. There's that black dragon. I really don't want to wake it. I feel like it's going to kill me. But I will keep that in mind for later. And let's see what we got going on here. Oh, platinum. Uh, same junk that we've had before. Can we not go this way? It looks like there's like a little path here on the map, but no. Okay, so I'm going to add this place to my list of things to do as far as places to return to whenever I actually have, you know, party members. I'm sure that Black Dragon's a super boss of some sort. I'll we'll have to test it out off screen to see if I can actually kill him. I really don't feel like risking all the money that I didn't deposit into the bank 
on, you know, if I can kill him or not. Oh, yeah, this is, um... Yeah, we were here earlier, and we were kind of avoiding a whole bunch of guards and everything. We didn't really get a chance to explore. It's more like cutscene exploring. But yeah, ooh, babbles. I hate babbles. Okay, this is another thing. If that was just a regular babble, not even a vicious babble, I could have killed it in one hit. But this vicious babble, I can still kill in one hit. So again, it's like, it's just a disappointing upgrade. I don't really like that. Oh, cool. I was expecting to have to have like another door key or something here. Ooh, what do we have here? Awesome, seeds of strength, perfect. And then, whoa, vicious stray keys. Oh, very good. Why wow, those rogue armors weren't even chasing me or anything. Ooh, treasure. There are more sages elixir. I'm getting a lot of that stuff. Okay, at least we have a decent map. Okay, Drakeys, you keep on going. Thank you. And let's go this way first, because I feel like, you know, you always have to go the long way around in a sewer in case... Yikes! Really? Seriously? Wow. These enemies aren't the smartest, are they? <laughs> yeah, you have to go the long way around just to, uh... They're still not gonna... Man, I could just walk right on by. Huh. You know, just in case there's, um... You were new, though. In case there's a treasure, in case there's a sparkle, in case whatever there is. Wow, the vicious Drakey does only eight damage. Again, disappointing. War cry to end all war cries. Whoa! Wow, for him being a hero, his attack power is pretty crummy. It's half of my attack power. Okay, good big bone. Awesome. Ooh. Ooh! Okay, this is kind of a nice sewer. This is like the best sewer I've been in. Okay, so the dungeons are over to the left. I don't want to go into the dungeons yet because there's more to explore over here. Yeah, we're going to go inside of these places, then we'll head inside the dungeon. Ooh, treasure! Nice! Not that I can actually, you know, go back there to the Academy of Metals, but it's nice to have them for right now. It's a good thing I turned in all those metals before I went and I uh, saw the Yggdrasil tree. Who knew that this would happen? Not to mention turning in those quests and everything, too. Not that I really got any good rewards for turning in those quests, but you know what I mean. Whoa! Awesome. Ooh. And what do we have here? Oh, okay, more Saint's Ashes. It kind of makes you wonder why you even bother having this sewer key, because you weren't able to explore the sewer the first time around, so it's not like you could encounter these doors and not be able to go into them. Um, but now that you're actually, yikes, able to explore, you have to have the sewer key. It's not like you can get in here without the sewer key. Uh, it's just a little bit of flavor, I guess. I guess an explanation as to why there's still all these chests around that haven't been looted or anything. So that's it for the sewers. Man, this is like the best sewer dungeon ever! It's straightforward, there aren't any switches, we don't have to go inside the water and cross bridges or anything else like that. We don't have a murderous boss chasing us around. This is nice. And the enemies just stick to a straight path make my life so much easier. But here we are inside the uh, dungeons. Let's see. Let's go around this guy. And I guess we can still use this sewer door to open up these dungeon doors. Perfect. Hey, this is great. Ooh, wow, robbing these people blind. Man, lots of treasures around here too. Oh, yikes. I figured I'd show this can of box on screen since we uh, 
don't really have much of a party right now. And, uh, yeah, these guys can be rather tough. Or not. Or we can one-shot them. Ooh! And get a seed of skill for doing it, too. Very good. Iron headgear, huh. Uh, let's see. Uh, it would take off his... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna put that and ruin his costume and everything just for three points of defense. That's just not gonna happen. Okay, let's see. Uh, this way. Let's go this way. Oh, some new enemies over there. Let's see. Can I get these things? I may have already gotten these the first time. Oh, great. We get a cow pad. That's just lovely. Yeah, the first time through, but not so much now. Okay, so it looks like this is where I was first um, imprisoned. We have a little rest here, and we have a little save point here. So this looks like a good chance for me to uh, save the game and stop it. But what else awaits us in these dungeons? And can we save the kingdom of Heliodor? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day. You wish to speak with me?